Dr. Sphinx is fully awakened. He feels unbalanced. Aladdin, you're right. It's time to have some fun. To steady himself uh, from his ultimate awakening, Sphinx puts his, his hand on the dwarf's shoulder, who kindly guides him uh, out of the tea house onto the dirt street of the bazaar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sphinx must return to <laughs> Ollie, the peaceful one to begin his uh, karma yoga of room sweeping pretty soon. Uh, wow. Uh, for the first time, Sphinx notices uh, the common Bataan people. How, how many people are limping? Coughing. Looking malnourished. As he passes Zambar up on his 12-foot-high pile of rubble, uh, brick, mud, splinted cedar beams, uh, he automatically reaches within his caftan to take out a hit of LSD to throw up to uh, the Malung, the Islamic yogi. But he catches his old self pauses, um, and then he, he feels uh, finally free from his fake aura of superiority, habitual patterns, uh, yeah, uh, so out of character with his old self, uh, he just doesn't walk on by. He climbs up that dirty, crumbling scree of rubble and squats beside Zambar. <laughs> Who's delighted? <laughs> Whoa! Uh, Zambar prepares a hashi chillum for both of them. You gotta uh, know that Sphinx is a linguistic genius, uh, speaks Egyptian. Arabic, Egyptian, Arabic, uh, English, uh, Farsi, the language of Persia, Pashto, which Zambar speaks, the language of the Patans, and uh, you get over into Pakistan, India, yeah, he's uh, fluent in Urdu, Hindi. Mm -hmm. Well, after the hookah of Zambar, thanks, thanks. <laughs> for the LSD tab. Yeah. Visionary Rainbow Day. Epiphany. Filled day for Zambar, yeah. The two calm men speak in posh to uh, about the utter simplicity of true mystical oneness. Salam alaikum. When you experience that oneness in your bones, yeah, they reflect sadly that almost all humans uh, live in a falsely mirrored of dualistic subject object uh, dream. That optical delusion of separation, uh, but a mirage shimmering in the desert of suffering. And even unto death, unto their last breath, they are never the wiser. They never wake up to true reality. Um, Alaikum salam. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, time to swim during the cool morning hours, nearly 7 a.m. Sphinx walks, light as a feather. He enters the inn of the peaceful one. And, well, all, all travelers uh, heading for India and coming back from India, headed over to Europe, uh, literally pass in front of the hotel. Sphinx has got a permanent room right in the center of the 12 <laughs> rooms facing the Ashish Trail. There it is, <laughs> out, his, out his window. And uh, Frakes, uh, they're, they're departing. They get on the buses uh, about seven, uh, some going uh, west to Kandahar, uh, from Kandahar to Herod and, and Islam Kala into Persia. Uh, just as a side note, uh, you've had plenty of flashbacks. Here's a flash forward. Uh, the Taliban has just taken over the border crossing at Islam Kala. Yeah. And yeah, they're, they're headed up for Kabul, you know, Khyber Pass, which backing down to Khyber Pass to Peshawar and Delhi, Kathmandu, you know, Afghanistan is, is a totally landlocked country, but the very low, lowest part of the country, it's all a 6,000 foot plateau and never gets any lower than that. You got to realize how beautiful it is here. You got the desert floor, six thousand feet, and that goes up to 20,000 foot peaks in the center mastiff of the country. Right on the western edge of the Himalayas. Yeah. Well, you're headed for Istanbul. <laughs> 3,000 miles, yeah. Cross Persia and Turkey. Oh, you're headed for uh, New Delhi, Goa, 2,000 miles that way. It's a 5,000 mile overland journey. A real rite of passage of 300,000 heavies like myself. I've done that trail seven times personally. Well, okay, time to go to work. So, uh, uh, you know, he starts with the rooms where the, the hippies have moved on. They're empty, so he has this little clay pot, and from that he dips his fingers in water, and then he sprinkles that all over the floor uh, because you can't sweep a dry mud floor uh, You'll just be rearranging the dust and <laughs> making a closet <laughs> uh, fill up in the room. Karma yoga. So we until you wait. 